Now, there's no question about it that a lot of Star Wars fans are very excited about the Force-sensitive user of Star Wars TV shows. Anybody that's either a Jedi or a Force user, like Ahsoka Tano, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and more TV shows that are going to focus on all of this for Disney Plus by George, John, and Dave. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, I am on Twitter at Mike01 if you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow on there. I do post a couple of entertaining things from time to time and really make sure to interact with you guys further. So we're now in a very interesting time of Star Wars. You know, we have the Book of Boba Fett Chapter 2 coming out tomorrow. That's pretty exciting. Honestly, guys, I will be real. I like Chapter 1. It was just a tad bit slow in the beginning. It had its moments where you had great action sequences, great choreography. And we're going to be diving into what Jon Favreau has to say about all of this because there are a handful of fans that are very unhappy with the beginning of the Book of Boba Fett and how it really got on its feet. A lot of fans out there believe that, you know, the Boba Fett series is doomed just after Chapter 1. And Jon Favreau essentially recently apologized over all of this and responded to what he is calling a minor backlash over the Book of Boba Fett series, and it is in no way a backlash like The Last Jedi. It's nothing like what happened with The Rise of Skywalker. It's not even close in a sense, but this is leading a lot of fans to worry on whether or not every single Book of Boba Fett episode is going to be like the first episode, right? So recently, Jon Favreau, you know, he's been a little bit more vivid about his experience with Lucasfilm as a company and working on all these new Star Wars TV shows. But he recently went on to apologize and talk more about this minor backlash from the Star Wars fandom over Chapter 1, Stranger in a Strange Land, which... By the way, guys, I mean, it was a very good episode in my book. That's just my opinion. So, here's what he had to say. Now, with both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni now focused on their new Star Wars projects, of course, you know, like Ahsoka and Mando Season 3, the sets for the Ahsoka series are beginning to get built ahead of its filming to begin this April. It's described, however, that since the debut of The Book of Boba Fett, fans have been voicing their opinion on the series. Jon Favreau recently responded to the entire fandom and apologized and addressed something to the fans to better understand everything. Jon Favreau goes on to state that what I need to apologize for is that our director of The Book of Boba Fett addressed before in the past that the series would be all killer and no filler. And this seems to have created an expectation, a heightened expectation, that the series was going to have tons of non-stop action, no questions asked. I want to really apologize if we pushed people to believing that this show was going to purely focus on non-stop action moments. We wanted to explore Chapter 1 with flashbacks and how Boba Fett escaped the pit and rebuilt himself from the ground up to become this anti-hero in the series that we are moving for. Favreau goes on to state that I noticed that there were that there was some backlash from the fans for Chapter 1, though not a massive one like we have seen before with other projects, but we noticed that there are a group of fans that are let down by the first chapter. What I need to promise all of you is that this series is really going to just get better and better with each chapter, especially the next one that releases tomorrow. So let me just stop right here for a second. Now, what Jon Favreau essentially is saying is that he's referring to what Robert Rodriguez had said on the internet, how he said that this series is going to be all killer and no filler. Now, it is going to stay true to that in a sense because each and every episode is not going to have or be defined as a filler episode. Some fans viewed Chapter 1 as a filler episode to begin with. That's how fans saw it. But in my book, you know, I think that everything looked pretty good. Uh, there were scenes that should have been drastically cut down. I will agree that there should have been less Boba Fett getting chained and dragged across the desert. I do agree with that. I understand that. That could have been handled a little bit better. But they really want to tap into the human side of Boba and how he has gone through such hell on Tatooine, and how we are able to witness him using that anger within to really build himself back up. That's what I like. So, I think the fact that Jon Favreau, he's trying to make things a bit more clear here, that each and every chapter is going to get better and better, 
that's pretty convincing and exciting. So he goes on to say more about Robert Rodriguez eventually. He, say, he states, I cannot wait for you all to see what we have in store. This series has so many twists and turns towards the end, your head will be spinning and wanting for more. Myself and Rodriguez made sure that this series is also going to unfold some long kept secrets that were stored away by some characters. It's our mission to make sure that we focus on character development also. I understand that many fans thought the first episode was slow, that maybe it seemed Boba was weak and helpless at times. This is because we wanted to focus on a character that was terribly damaged, that he could build himself back up. I actually like to think of it as a lesson. No matter how strong you are, you can always fall. But what's next? Well, you can build yourself back up and become even stronger. And that's what we are focusing on with the back to healing scenes. So, you can see how Jon Favreau is kind of going for a theme here. Basically, the Boba Fett that we saw at the end of the Return of the Jedi film, he was a strong bounty hunter. I mean, this character, a lot of fans respected him ever since his big debut in the original trilogy, right? A lot of fans always wanted more of that character, which is why originally they were pushing for a movie and Kathleen Kennedy ran into creative problems and that led nowhere. And here we are, we now have a Boba Fett show. But... This in turn, Jon Favreau is trying to make things clear that the minor backlash from the fans over chapter one could very well be overreactive. And I do believe that it might be a bit overreactive. And if you didn't like chapter one, that's fine. You know, we're all human beings here. We have our own reactions and thoughts on things, and that's fine. I thought chapter one, I will give it, you know, probably a B. You know, I think that it really needed some work in some scenes. It had some moments where it was a little slow and it had to be cut down. It was a solid start. You know, we got some answers to some questions and we got some moments where new characters were implemented. And we're going to be learning more about that tension between Fennec and Boba Fett and what she thinks he should become and what he thinks he needs to stay as. So overall, I think that Jon Favreau is on his head here. He knows what he's doing. So. He further goes on to reveal that I actually like to think of everything as a lesson even further with Boba Fett. He goes on to state that Boba Fett is just going to keep growing and growing, but we are also focused on how he handles himself as a crime lord and the, and the consequences that come with all of that. Myself and Dave, though, are sorry if we promoted the series as if it will have no filler at all. What we and Robert meant was we are in no way going to waste an entire episode where no character development is happening and that each episode is going to have more and more action scenes. The first chapter was just to recap Boba's life and what he has been through and I hope all of you are ready for chapter two because it's going to be quite a ride tomorrow. Now once again chapter two uh, it's going to debut um, you know, tonight technically at 3 a.m. If you're on the East Coast or for those of you that are on the, you know, West Coast of the United States, it's going to debut and it's really going to give fans a lot of a bit, a lot more of a better sense of Boba Fett's character and his development as a character in between episodes five and six. Let's not forget that flashbacks are going to be key in this series. It's not going to stop with chapter one. So I think that John Favreau said it clearly. He knows what he's doing. He really does believe that Rodriguez did a great job of directing the series. And you know what? If you guys have never seen Rodriguez's work, I do suggest checking out Desperado and Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Those are my two favorite films from Robert. Go ahead and check him out. Anyways, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. And I'll catch you guys next time.